Gundam.tk presents Gundam Zabanya. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Robert184 from Gundam.tk in Japan, and today is the day of the release of the high grade 144th Gundam Zabanya from the new Double O movie. This model just came out on August 26th, and it sells for the price of. You can see it there on the right, 1800 Japanese yen. Here you can see the name of the model in Japanese, and I can't believe that they're already at number 67 in the high grade 00 series. For the usual look around the box, first of all, we're going to get some story information on Zabanyan. Basically, it's talking about how it follows up from Dinamiz and Karadim. And then we're going to have a pretty cool looking front shot. And of course, its most noticeable feature is the GN holster bits, which are just huge there. Then we're going to get some information on lock-on stratus and the manly tears everyone shed. And this is Lyle Dillandy, of course, and then it goes on to talk about his brother there. There's the rear shot showing off the two yellow things on the back and some kind of action with these huge holster bits off to the side and some scenes from the movie. This is something they've done that's pretty cool since the 00 Quanta. The box has a whole bunch of labels, so they have large rooms for some action-packed poses here that shows off all the features and gimmicks. So the first thing I noticed is that it has a blue jewel on the forehead instead of the red ones that the earlier kits have. There's some shots, it's looking pretty good there. And the gimmicks that they're going to show off are listed over here from A to F. Of course, the most recognizable part is the holster bits, and there's going to be five on each side, which seems like a huge amount of plastic, but anyway, we'll see the final effect once it's all put together. Here it's going to show off the rifle bit 2 and the GN pistol bits, and what it talks about here is that you can actually put them inside the holster bits, which is a pretty cool thing. We're also able to lift up the sensor and reveal, which is a gimmick here they list. You're able to flip out these missile ports, and it has some details. I wonder if those are going to be done with stickers or if you're going to have to paint them to get that yellow effect on there. Moving on, there's a locking mechanism on the holster bits, and if that works, that's going to be a huge problem, because if you've got five bits off to the side, I don't see how this thing is not going to have huge weight issues with anything you try to do with it. And anybody who's familiar with any of the high-grade double-O kits in the second season on will recognize the waste mechanism. Here we have an unpainted picture. It looks like we're going to have a blue seal on the head, and down below it says that you get an extra clear base. So if you had the high grade Karadim, you could add this to the clear base that you got with that, and then you'd be able to put the bits out here in front as a shield. Let's open this up and see what we're gonna get inside. And when you do that, on the top we're gonna have the A plate with red, white, yellow, and clear parts. A lot of stickers, more than I expected there. Poly caps, we're gonna get a plate of green and blue, or green and gray. We're gonna get gray and black, and then two big plates of green, followed up by the manual. Taking a look at the plates in detail, here are the red parts. We just have a part for the waist section and the chin and eyes there in white. The face guard sort of has an exia type of split and it's just lined on the box art, so I wonder if I'm gonna paint that gray or just use my lighting markers. For the yellow parts, we're gonna have the two things in the back, the collar and the V-fin. Otherwise, standard for the white parts, big molded parts for the legs there, and here we're gonna have three clear parts that I'm gonna paint with my green parts, the blue sensor, and interestingly, on the box, these were not painted, and we're actually going to put stickers on these, but I'm going to see if about painting those blue. Maybe I'll wait to see the movie and see what they do it. And this is the extra add-on that you can add to your old high-grade keratin. And when you look at these B plates, you're going to say, wow, those are huge chunks of plastic, and there's no way about that. These parts here, you're going to notice, are attached together, and you're getting identical ones. So you're going to have sets of two that you attach together, and then we're going to have the C plate, which makes up the remainder. And here we're going to get the rest of the body parts in green. But it's quite interesting the way that Bandai is laying out their parts here to have the large parts and the body parts offset. It seems like everything has been planned out fairly well in advance. The D1 plate is almost identical to the D2, with the only addition being that it has two manipulators on it, and here we're going to get the parts for the GN rifle bits and the pistol bits, along with the grey parts of the inner frame. And finally, for the E parts, we're going to have parts of the chest, and then we're going to have parts that are going to hold the holster bits onto the body itself. Hopefully that lock mechanism works as advertised. 
The manual has the same attractive art that's on the box itself, and here we have some really cool looking line art and some scenes from the movie, and the pilot, good old lock on Stratus. Here we've got some pretty cool action shots, and if we're able to pull that off, I doubt it the 144th action base is going to be able to support this kind of thing, but it does look pretty cool nonetheless. Here it shows the one part of the holster bits attaching onto the others, the white, the rifles, how you can transform them. And here we're going to have a color instruction page and how to attach the holster bits together and put the rifle bit into here. For the parts, we're actually going to have the A, 2B, C, D, D2, E, and polycaps as you've seen. And finally on the back page, we're going to have some information about the movie uh, Awakening of the Trailblazer. Some more gimmick and details, most of which we've seen around the box, but it looks like it's got some pretty impressive waist articulation there. And a whole bunch of colors here that go at the bottom. In As I said earlier, more seals than I expected. So we're going to have the cameras for the head. This is to cover up the sensor in blue. And then we've got a lot of gray parts that I'm curious to see where these go. And these go on those clear bits of the rifle bit twos. The eyes, of course, these are gonna go inside those clear parts, which I will paint green instead. And these white parts are actually gonna stick onto the green of the chest. And these other green parts, I'm looking forward to seeing where those attach on as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Again, Robert184, Gundam.tk, and as always, stay tuned for the full review in a few days, and as always, let me know with a like if you do, a don't if you don't, and a comment as always to hear what you think. The 00 Quanta was a lot of fun, and I'm hoping that the Zabania is going to live up to that, and I can't wait to see these guys together in the movie. Anyway, I hope you're as excited as I am. See you next time.